Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Nazi Factory, and guys, happy Women's Day and happy Women's Month to all the beautiful women in South Africa, guys. You know, guys, in today's video, we'll be looking at three topics. We'll be looking at the results of the no confidence vote in President Jacob Zuma. Unfortunately, we have to look at Duduzi Manana's assault case. And guys, lastly, the, the recent N3 bridge crash here in Johannesburg. And guys, actually, before I actually start any of the topics in the video, I'd like to send my condolences to Dumi Masilela's family. Um, the, the, the star passed away, I think it was uh, a week or two ago. In a, in a hijacking, I think it was like a hit man, it was like a hijacking gone wrong You know, he drove himself to hospital and he, he succumbed to his uh, injuries His aunt as well passed away on the same day when she heard about his death as well Guys, Tseke Leke passed away as well, like what's going on in South Africa mate? Guys, Tseke Leke, rest in peace Tseke Leke And another Rhythm City actress, Mary Mahoto, also passed away like Guys, oh, do these people that like, grew up watching on TV, gone by faith, Tseke Leke Mary Guys, nah, 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 nah. So guys, the no confidence vote to President Jacob Zuma failed as I predicted. It was never gonna work. But you know what? I applaud opposition parties in South Africa, guys. Opposition parties have now come together in South Africa. We're actually seeing that cooperation is possible among different parties that hold different uh, ideologies that can come together for one purpose, you know, to try and attempt to get rid of the president, you know, things like that, get things moving, organizing marches and stuff like that. But in fact, we just want consistency now. Now until 2019 is consistency. You know, uh, what a lot of people have been saying, and I actually kind of do believe at the same time. If you, the thing is, leave uh, the president to stay until 2019, so that you can use it as an excuse or not an excuse uh, uh, in your campaigning plot to say this man was kept by his party until now. Look at he's done to our country. Two, two full terms. What has happened? You see what I mean? As opposed to removing him now, there'll be a new leader. And that person will just take over from there. He'll ride his own wave. Cyril, the whole Cyril wave on Kosozana wave. Whoever comes in at the moment. You know, the president, you know, did, you know, celebrate after, after the votes. You know, the votes were, I think it was, there were 184 members of parliament present. NC had some five vacancies that didn't fill. They were like, ah, it doesn't matter, we're going to win this. So the, the, the final um, totals for that was actually, it was 198 to the NC MPs. And the opposition was 177. The opposition needed 192 to get that half, just to get that half. They couldn't get that half, but it isn't narrow. To me, it isn't narrow. There's still work to be done, but I'm just applauding our opposition parties for working together to try and, you know, come together essentially to get for one common cause, but to get rid of uh, the president. It's not an ANC thing, it's the president. And guys, <laughs> To do my nan, I fit, you know, guys, just and to start off Women's Month like this, Ushaba like this. This is the video of Ntuduzi Manana assaulting the woman at Kubana. <laughs> Like, who raised you, fam? Who raised you? You're raised by a woman to, to go hit a woman now. Dude, this guy is not serious, but I don't understand. You know, guys, the worst part about this is that he went to go vote at the no confidence vote. Guys, what is going on? Figile Balula, like, why was he not arrested? I don't understand. Is there, like, new conditions since I'm a minister or I, held, I hold a position of power that now I don't need to go to jail because I hit somebody? That is madness, but to this guy to just go to jail ASAP, but you do not. Hit woman, you are weak, Munna. Like, dude, you've lost. Apparently, he got angry because they called him gay. Like, what is that? He is that is that something to be really like to go hit someone about to act out violence just because they called you that? Come on, dude, grow up. You know, hopefully, I just I just hope that this guy must be just taught to listen. Guys, lessons must be learned. People in power must know that you just like anyone else in the country. You are just like anyone else in the country. And guys, lastly, the injury bridge collapse that happened on the on the Haldanese interchange. Hey, Buffett. Guys, what is going on? Guys, it's like nobody taking care of the infrastructure in South Africa. We're just like, whatever, it bridge, it's there. We can just let it bloom there, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Guys, like, do you see, like, yo, guys, the, the thing is, you know, I, I don't know how to put this, but the fortunate part is that it was not on a work day. Today's the, the, the day it happened, it was on, on, on Women's Day. So at least there wasn't as much traffic from the photos I've seen. Only about like three vehicles got damaged. There was two trucks and a Mercedes-Benz. 
uh, only like um, they say like five people were injured, but the people in the occupants in the Mercedes Benz uh, weren't weren't like damaged, uh, they weren't hurt at all. But imagine if this was a work day, guys. That is the one of the busiest stretches of road or intersections in the southern hemisphere. If you if you live in Joburg and you know that maybe you work in the east or travel between the east and the south of Joburg, north of Joburg, you know that place is a mess. It is a mess. Traffic there will like drive you crazy, buffet. So guys. Can government just get a grip? Can Sandal get a grip? I'm not even told where they're going, Buffet, so that bridges can go fall, so we can be having these uh, Mario and Robert type situations of bridges and uh, structures just falling, Buffet. Take care of the infrastructure, Buffet. Infrastructure must rise, South Africa. What's going on? Guys, this is an extra, extra, extra thing, Buffet. Uh, Bonang's book apparently got pulled off exclusive bookshelf because, you know, e grammar uh, does not allow because you are thinking of, thinking of, thoughting of, thinking of what I think of, what I'm thoughting, thinking, yes, darling, champagne. You know stuff like that, but you guys, we want quality books, but no one's gonna go buy a book. It's not quality, but it's a book number, like dude, just a book, fam. You just imagine a book. It's not, it's not quality, guys. That doesn't make sense, guys. Thank you again for watching the video. Thank you, people who subscribed. Actually, eh? if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Sure.